Hey guys, this is Brent with Western Equipment, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to install a John Deere home maintenance kit on a John Deere E120. So let's get started. So before we get started here, let's go over what comes in the kit and then also what tools and things we're gonna to wanna to have around when performing this service. So first of all, in the kit, first thing we see here is gonna be our easy change oil filter system. Now, as you notice, there's no quartz of oil because the oil is actually contained in this filter. So when we change the old one, we'll be taking out most of the old oil and replacing it with new oil that's preloaded in this 30 second easy change oil system. Now, next we have our air filter, two spark plugs, and a fuel filter. Now also some of the tools we're gonna wanna have around is a spark plug socket. This is a 5.8 socket that is a deep well with some rubber down in it to hold those plugs snug when we're changing them. We've also got our spark plug gap gauge here so we can make sure the, those spark plugs are gapped correctly. We've also got a small set of vice grips here and a set of pliers. We're gonna use both of these when changing that fuel filter. The vice grips are gonna be used to pinch that fuel hose that goes back towards the tank to make sure that fuel is not rushing back forward. And then we've also got here an eight millimeter socket on a screwdriver extension. We're gonna use this to remove the panel that sits in front of our oil filter and fuel filter to make changing those easier. So nice little tip here to have this around to take that panel loose. And then also guys, make sure we bust out that operator manual. That way we can check specs and things, uh, especially so we can check and see what our uh, spark plug gap needs to be. So from here guys, let's start first by going and removing that panel. Step one here is going to be removing this panel. We're over here on the left hand side of the mower where our oil filter and fuel filter is. And as you can see, it sits right here in front. It's gonna make it a little bit difficult for us to change these two items. Now, this does pop loose from right here over on your main cowling and does flip forward, but it's still gonna be in our way here. So we're just gonna go ahead and loosen this completely off here. This is where that eight millimeter socket is gonna come in handy. So we'll just take that loose. It's just gonna be one bolt right down here at the bottom of that panel going right into the frame. So we're just gonna take that loose and get that out of our way. And then from here, we've got everything exposed. So we'll move to step two and go ahead and change our easy change oil system. So step two, like we said, is gonna be changing our easy change oil filter system here. Now this truly is a 30 second oil change, being as there's not gonna be any draining of oil and no refilling. We're simply just gonna remove this filter here and then put on the new one that's preloaded with oil. So how we're gonna do that is as you'll notice right here, we have these two arrows. The first one here is gonna have a lock symbol to it. The next one on this side is gonna have an unlock. And there's also an arrow here on the side of the filter that lines up with those. So when we're twisted this way, we're locked. We're twisted this way, we're unlocked. So I'll go ahead and do that now. You can do it by hand here. We're just gonna turn it until we're to that unlock position. And then as you can see, we have just a little bit of oil there on the nipple of that filter, but you can see these locking fins here and also the locking fins here on this oil system that keeps that filter on. And also all, like we said, most of the oil here is changed in this filter. So here's our old one. We're gonna go back on with our new one. When they come out of the package, it is gonna have this rubber cover on the end. We're just simply gonna pull that off. And when we go back on, we're gonna line up our arrow on the filter with our arrow here. Set that down in, that's lined up. And then we're just simply going to twist it into place for the lock. And right there, guys, is all it takes on that 30 second oil change system. You're done, it's over. We don't have the mess with the oil. It's simply take the old one off, put the new one on, and you're good to go. So let's move to step three, start changing our spark plug. Step three here is gonna be changing our spark plugs. We're still over here on the left-hand side of the mower, but keep in mind that the E120 is a V-twin engine. So you're gonna have one spark plug on the left-hand side and one on the right-hand side. For this video, I'm just gonna show you over here on the left-hand side, just make sure that whenever you change one, you do change the other. So to start, first thing we're gonna do 
is check the gap on our new spark plug. Now, how we're gonna do that is we measure the distance between this top electrode and this middle pin with our gap gauge here. Now the gap gauge has numbers all the way around it. It has a thin side here. You can see that bevel on the edge of that. That is actually where we're going to slip into this spark plug right here. Now, what we're measuring for on these plugs specifically is the point 030. I know it's a little hard to see there on camera, but we're simply gonna slide this around until we start feeling resistance, which we should see it right here at our second set of numbers. So if we slide this through and we're feeling that resistance right there, we do know that our plugs are gapped correctly. So from here, these spark plugs are good to go in or this one at least for this side. So now we'll go ahead and start making that change. So we're just gonna reach right here and pull this cap off. And now I mentioned before getting out that spark plug socket, uh, you're also gonna need a 3 8 ratchet to run that socket that I didn't mention before. So make sure you get out your ratchet and socket. That way you can make these changes here. So we're just gonna simply gonna slide this on and then go ahead and break it loose, just like so. And then once you have that broken loose, you should be able to just remove these by hand. All right, so once we've got the old one out, we'll go ahead and go back in with the new one. Now, when we're going back in with our new one, we wanna start it with our hand and just go until we can feel that plug pushing up against the side of the engine or until it feels you know, finger tight. And then once we get that finger tight, then we'll go back on with our ratchet and socket about another half a turn just to make sure that they're snug. All right, so now we're up against the side of the engine here. We'll go back on with our socket here. And like I said, just go about a quarter I said a half, but about a quarter a turn is usually good enough there. So right there. And then we'll go back on with our boot. And that's all it takes on the spark plug. Now, like I said before, this is on the left-hand side. Just make sure we're doing the same thing on the right-hand side. But from here, guys, we'll move to step four and start changing our fuel filter. All right, so step four here is gonna be changing our fuel filter. Now, this is definitely always the most interesting as you are gonna have a little bit of a mess. Um, you know, and sometimes getting this filter removed from these hoses is a little bit of a challenge because these hoses get tight around these ends over time, but fairly simple job overall. First thing we're going to do is we're going to get these clamps moved out of the way. That's where these pliers are going to come in handy. We're just going to simply squeeze those clamps and move them down the hose here to get them out of our way. Same thing here with our top one. Just get it good and up and out of the way there. Now I mentioned those little vice grips. You're gonna to wanna to have those guys so you can go ahead and pinch this hose that's going back towards the tank, just so we're not having that fuel trying to run out the hose while we're changing this filter. You're gonna have enough mess with what's gonna run out of the filter itself. So just find a spot back here that's gonna be out of your way. Go ahead and pinch that closed. Might want that a little tighter there. Not quite there. And you want it tight, but you don't want to damage your hose. So right there ought to be good to keep that fuel from flowing. Now, next step is just going to be taking the hoses off of the filter. Just going to kind of twist and pull on those hoses to get those loose. And then, like I said, you've got that little bit of spillage there. And then same thing right here on top. 
and a little bit leaking out there. Now we'll go back on with our new filter here. Now these are directional. So what that means is they do have an arrow, a little hard to see, but it's right there at the bottom. And that's gonna indicate our flow of fuel. So our fuel on this mower is flowing from this side here and it's going to the engine here. So we wanna make sure that that arrow is pointing from the rear of the mower to the front. So we've got it right here. We're just gonna go back on right here, push that all the way to the base of that filter. And same thing on this side. Then we can remove our vice grips and go back on with our clamps here. Just run those up as far as you can get them right there. And then same thing with our top one. And get it ran down as far as we can here. All right. And now that I've shook you around, that is all there is to changing the fuel filter. So we'll go ahead and move to our last step, step five, and change our air filter. All right, step five here, changing the air filter. Very simple job. All we have is right here, we have two hand screws right on top on this housing. We're just simply going to loosen those all the way out till we fill them loose. And then once we have those loose, just simply lift this off. We're just going to pull up on our old filter here and go back on with our new one. Just push that snug and then push it down in to where it fits snug down in the housing here. Just like so. And then we'll go back on with our cover and screw these back down in. And that is all there is to changing that air filter. So like I said, very simple job here for our last step. All right guys, so there are the step-by-step -step instructions for installing the John Deere home maintenance kit on the John Deere E120. Now, if you noticed anything that I left out or if you have any other questions or comments, make sure to leave those down in the comments section below so I can check those and get back to you. And also guys, if you like this video, if it helps you out, I just ask that you please hit that like button and give us a subscribe as that helps us out as well. And also guys, if you're watching this video and you're needing any of these parts or any of the tools that we that I used here in the video today, I'll put a link in the description below where you can get those parts, or you can also check us out at west-equip.com slash parts. And if you have questions for me directly over those parts, I'm also going to put the phone number down below in the description that you can actually give me a call directly or send me a text so I can get back to you. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Hey guys, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and go buy your parts at west-equip.com slash parts.